Welcome back to episode 3 of my hike across England. In the last episode, I hiked along the wild and beautiful coast of Cornwall. And now join me as I head inland along stunning mining trails, discovering awesome remnants of the past and strange mysteries hidden in plain sight. When I was young, I thought control would lead me to an ending road. Good morning everyone. I slept for about 10 hours. It was awesome. Last night got wild though. The, the wind and the rain. I definitely put up the tent at the right time actually because otherwise I think I would have got soaked. Just hoping for another beautiful day of hiking. I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday or last night. Last night I was so busted but the long sleep has done me well. So I'm excited to get going on trail and see what we can find today. It was now day four of my walk across England, and I had started to get used to using Google Maps and all trails to find a route between each of the hidden gems. This made progress a lot quicker than the first couple of days. The weather for the most part had been great, and with summer coming, the bluebells bloomed in vibrant forests that made for just a lovely walk. of this walk is just finding public pathways to take me closer to the hidden gems because there is no official trail the way I'm doing the Le Jog so it's quite fun but um, my left legs give me a bit of problems today uh, my knee and my ankle for some reason my right leg is the one that was injured going into this and I've been really stretching it and I've obviously just not stretched this left one enough so I'm taking more breaks than I'd like to to stretch it out and but that's all right, I'll just take my time today. You know, I'm in no major r rush to get to where I'm going, so it's all good. And it's a, it's a beautiful day today. The weather is gorgeous. It's been a very beautiful walk. I'm just gonna take a break and, and stretch out my left leg a bit. I found this hole in a random bit of field and it looks just big enough to crawl in and curiosity's got the better of me. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in and check it out. What a cool find though. I still have no idea what the hole was for. Clearly man-made but with nothing but dead ends inside. I headed on across random farm fields and quiet paths till I reached a small village where I was able to stock up on some food and have a hot snack. This area of England obviously used to be used a lot for mining. There's tons of abandoned mining sort of buildings, really cool. such a beautiful walk and I've discovered so many things that I didn't know were here I, they didn't show up on the map it just reminds me why I'm walking and I'm not doing it another way it's the slowest way to see the country but the most detailed and can really get your teeth into all the different hidden gems and discover really cool things you would never see otherwise I have had a full day of walking. 
It's coming up to seven, and I've reached the final hidden gem for today, which is another mine building in a really stunning woodland. Oh, it's, it's really picturesque. I don't know why it's particularly picturesque compared to the others I've seen, but it just seems to really stand out in its environment. I think it's probably to do with the puddle below and seeing the reflection of it, but oh, it is stunning. And, Today's walk has been awesome fun, but my feet are definitely swollen. I, I reckon I definitely did over 20 miles today. Um, probably a lot over 20 miles. Although maybe I'm just saying that. It feels like more than 20 miles, that's for sure. I'm just gonna have some dinner and just chill out for the night. Wait till the sun sets to put up my tent. Good morning everyone. It was a bit of a tough one to get up out of bed this morning. <laughs> I'm a little bit stiff, but today, very excitedly, I am hiking to Truro, which is about seven or eight miles hike away, so not a long hike. And there I have booked a hotel, a little room with a private bath, oh, and a shower, and things to charge all my equipment. And it is good so I haven't showered in five days so I probably stink worse than a skunk um, <laughs> so I am so excited for that and this morning is gonna be a, a good walk but the rest of the day will be a rest day cleaning my clothes cleaning myself and doing all the necessities to make sure that I can keep going for a long time now five days in the reality of what I was doing was starting to sink in I was sore, I was tired, and I was loving it. It was tough but so freeing. Walking all day is such a simple way to live, and it helped me strip a lot of my mental baggage away. And I realized that for the first time in a long while, I wasn't feeling anxious or depressed. The walk was kicking my butt, but in an awesome way. I couldn't wait to see what was in store for me further along this adventure, but in the short term, it would be a warm bed and a shower, which I was so excited for. Oh, glorious glory this. I am spending a night in a hotel with a clean, squishy bed. I mean, look, squish. It's so squishy. <laughs> I've got plugs, I've got a shower. Oh, it's glorious. I mean, I'm gonna get an early night for sure tonight. This is half of a rest day, at least. I'm gonna have half a rest day today. But uh, I still have a lot to do. I gotta wash all my clothes. I gotta charge all my equipment. I also gotta wash this stinky thing right here that my finger's pointing at, which is indeed me, <laughs> before I can even think about jumping on the squishy bed. So I got a bit to do before I can chill out, but oh, it's like a civilized evening. I'd have such an appreciation for it after so many days in the wild. Mm -hmm. 